So what volume at room temperature and pressure would be the following gas occupied? What's your answer for A? This is at room temperature and pressure. So 2 multiplied by 24, 000, 24 decimeter cube, right? So it's uh, 48 decimeter cube. Then how about B? 0 0.1 multiplied by 24 decimeter cube. Eh? So that is equal to 2.4 decimeter cube. Eh? Okay. So uh, even though this is oxygen, this is hydrogen, so whatever gas it is, okay? Yeah. So we do it by using the same way. Yeah. The number of mole multiplied by the uh, molar volumes of gas. This should be uh, example two. Uh, okay, example two. Uh, a sample of ozone has a volumes of 960 cm cube at room temperature and pressure. Find the number of mole of the the ozone. 960 cm cube. So what's the number of mole? So the number of mole is equal to the volume 960. 60 divided by the molar volume. The, the molar volume is given in dm cube, but this is in cm cube, so you have to convert. Okay, you have to convert uh, the molar volume uh, to cm cube. Okay, 0 0.04, right? Okay, yeah, 0 0.04. Uh. So the answer is 0 0.04 molar. Uh. Okay, so that is how we find the number of mole. We take the volume of the gas divided by the molar volume. But you must be very, very careful on the unit that you use. Okay, if this is cm cubed, then this one must also be in cm cubed. Summary. Now, in last lessons, we have learned this molar mass, molar mass, and then we learned that if we know the mass of the substance. And uh, then we can find the number of mole by divide the mass by the molar mass. And if we know the number of mole, we want to find the mass, then we multiply it by the molar mass. Eh? And if we know the number of mole, then we want to find the number of particles, then we multiply it by the Avogadro constant. Eh? The Avogadro constant is 6.02 times 10 to the power of 23. Okay. And if you know the number of particles and you want to find the number of mole, then so we divide it by the Avogadro constants then we combine this with what we learned just now okay then we get this eh? if you know the number of mole of the particles and then you want to find the volumes of the gas then what we do is we multiply it by the molar volume eh? okay and inversely you know the volume and then you want to find the number of particles then we divide it by the molar volume uh, usually in exam they won't give you a very straightforward questions eh? they will give you something like this they give you the mass okay and then they want you to find the volume of the gas. So what you do is, from the mass, you must find the number of mole first. Okay? And then from the number of mole, then you find the volume of the gas. Huh? Or, or, they, or they give you the number of particles. Okay? And then they want you to find the volume of the gas. So what you do is, you find the number of mole and then find the volume of the gas. Or they give you the volume of the gas and then they ask you to find the mass or they ask you to find the number of particles. So you must know how to do this, how to uh, find the number of mole or the mass or particles or uh, volumes of gas. Eh? And you must be very, very familiar with this chart. Molar volume means the volume of one mole. Eh? This molar volume is volume of one mole. Okay. And molar mass means mass of one mole. Now the molar mass is uh, equals to the molar mass uh, is equals to the relative atomic mass or uh, relative molecular mass. Uh. So in some book they say okay you divide it by the relative atomic mass or relative molecular mass, or uh, this one from the number of mole to mass you multiply by the uh, relative atomic mass and relative molecular mass, because the molar mass is always equal to the relative atomic mass or uh, relative molecular mass. The number of particles in 1,200 cm cube of nitrogen gas. They want the number of particles, uh, not the number of mole. Uh. Number of particle, not number of mole. Give me your answer.
Okay. So from here, we can see that if they give you the volume and then they want you to find the number of particles, what you do is you find the number of moles first. And then from the number of moles, then you find the number of particles eh, by, by multiplying the number of moles uh, by this uh, Avogadro constant. Oh, this is example four, okay? A container contains 3.913 times 10 to the power of 23 methane molecules. Uh, methane is a gas, eh? okay? And what is the volume of the methane gas at room temperature and pressure? Okay, they give you the Avogadro constant and the vol molar volumes of the gas at room temperature and pressure. Okay, now this one, uh, this is example five. Huh? Example five, okay. Uh, the mass of carbon dioxide gas is in a closed container is 13.2 uh, grams. So they give you the mass. So they want you to find the volume of the gas and, and they give you the relative atomic mass huh? and the molar volume. Try to find the volume of the gas, 13.2 gram. 13.2 huh? gram of carbon dioxide is equal to how many cm cubed or dm cubed. Okay, so this answer, 6,720 cm cube or 6.72 dm cube. So you see, uh, uh, you need to find the number of mole. Uh, and to find the number of mole, you need to know the molar mass. And the molar mass is equal to the relative molecular mass. So you, you, you must find the relative molecular mass first. Okay, and then uh, find the number of mole. After finding the number of mole, then you can find the volumes of the gas. So this one should be example six. Okay, now we have A and B. Okay, this one should be A and this one should be B. So what volumes would the following gas occupy? Eight gram of hydrogen gas and 32 gram of methane gas. Relative atomic mass of hydrogen is one and um, okay, carbon is 12. Okay, for those are uh, form four students, uh, maybe you still don't know what is methane gas. Uh? Methane gas, uh, the formula is CH4, eh? CH4. So one carbon and eh? four hydrogens, eh? the formula. You are going to learn methane uh, in form five, okay? So usually in form four, if they give you methane gas, eh? they will give you the formula, okay? CH4. Hydrogen is H2 or H, H2, okay? H2, eh? If they ask you to find the volume of the gas, uh, then you always remember hydrogen uh, in nature is a uh, H2, not H, uh, H2. So for A, answer is 96, and uh, for B, the answer is 48. Example 7. 
They tell you that the gas is 200 cm cubed and then they want you to find the mass. That gives you the relative atomic mass and the molar volume of the gas. Eh? Okay. Okay, now let me check this uh, number of moles 200 divided by 22,400. Oh, okay. I think there's a mistake here. This one, uh, it should be 0 0.00893 mole. So 0 0.00893 times 32, uh, uh, then you're correct. Okay. 0 0.286 gram. 